Timotheo Salif, 1 Timothy chapter 6. Let those who are servants under a yoke regard their own masters worthy of all respect, lest the name of Elohim and his teaching be blasphemed. And those who have believing masters, let them not disregard them because they are brothers, but rather serve them because they are believing and beloved ones. Those receiving of the good service in return, teach and urge these matters. If anyone teaches differently and does not agree to the sound words, those of our master Yeshua Messiah, and to the teaching which is according to reverence, he is puffed up, understanding none at all, but is sick about questionings and verbal batters from which some which come envy, strife, slander, wicked suspicions, worthless disputes of men, of corrupt minds, and deprived of the truth, who think that reverence is a means of gain. Withdraw from such. But reverence with contentment is great gain, for we brought not into the world, and it is impossible to take any out. When we have food and covering, we shall be satisfied with these. But those wishing to be rich fall into trial and a snare, and into many foolish and injurious lusts, which plunge men in ruin and destruction. For the love of silver is a root of all kinds of evil, for which some, by longing for it, have strayed from the belief and pierced themselves through with many pains. But you, O man of Elohim, flee from all this and pursue righteousness, reverence, belief, love, endurance, meekness. Fight the good fight of the belief. Lay hold on everlasting life to which you were also called and have confessed the good confession before many witnesses. In the sight of Elohim who gives life to all and of Messiah Yeshua who witnessed the good confession before Pontius Pilate, I charge you that you guard the command spotlessly, blamelessly, until the appearing of our master Yeshua Messiah, which in his own seasons he shall reveal the blessed and only ruler, the sovereign of sovereigns and master of masters, who alone has immortality, dwelling in unapproachable light, whom no one has seen or is able to see, to whom be respect and everlasting might. Amen. Charge those who are rich in this present age not to be high-minded, nor to trust in the uncertainty of riches, but in the living Elohim, who gives us richly all for enjoyment, to do good, to be rich in good works, to be generous, ready to share, storing up for themselves a good foundation for the time to come, so that they lay hold on everlasting life. O oh, Timotheos, watch over that which has been entrusted to you, turning aside from the profane and empty babblings and contradictions of the falsely called knowledge, which some, having professed it, have missed the goal concerning the belief. Favor be with you. Amen.